So we, we look at a question of urban design. Uh, to most people, it may not really matter that much, but if you go back 400, uh, around 400 BC, Hippocrates did mention, he drew an, an alignment between poor air, bad water, and human health. Now, we take this for granted, but if you go back to 1950, um, the urbanization rate of Africa had, was not as high, so we had about 27 million people that are living in urban areas. Well, today, it's almost 600 million of them are living in urban areas. We may not see the problem with this, but fast forward to 2050, we are looking at the African population doubling, and two-thirds of those people living in urban areas. Now, this congestion is a health crisis in the making. Now, I'm trying to propose that the Af Africa is growing today. It's not as advanced as the United States, so new cities are coming up. I'm advocating for these new cities to be built in a fashion that the cities are healthy. And the cities are, at the end of the day, these cities are the lungs of our community. So we must plan our urban areas in a fashion that, that protects the, our community's health and advances the way we grow. Now, I'm going to give you one good example of the 15-minute city uh, in France. Why is this very interesting? What they're trying to do is to have a city where from your doorstep to the, next, to the hospital, to the library, to the uh, shopping mall, to the school, to work, is all within 15 minute walking distance. Now, this might sound like it's nothing big, but guess what? You're cutting down a lot of the air pollution by the cars. By designing cities like this, what you are doing is saving almost 3,000 lives per year that tend to be lost due to the air pollution by the traffic. So this is why we need to seriously look at our cities, seriously look at examining and building cities that are healthier, and, and I get more into details in my book.